that ass. I ain't going back and forth with no broke ass bitch. And that song that you like, I probably wrote that shit. know that's it. Uh, more fire, hot like Naya. Whole lot of juice from the plug and the wire. Hold it. Well, hello. And welcome back to my Indigo Mind. This is your host, Tashana. And today, honey, we are going to be talking about Liv's life. Lie a lot. Throw that shit out. There will be another people fuck this. Let's get right. Let's get right into this video. Forever is the strangest thing. It's shorter than you think. into it okay now we all know that Liv has completely lost her ever loving dear mind she came on here and started running her mouth and talking about people and they kids and they man and she ain't had nothing else better to do that day but jump in somebody else's shit so um see I'm gonna ask these questions and I'm, I'm gonna know some answers for you first of all who gave you this idea two um, was it personal thoughts? I could get online and just start running my mouth and saying some bullshit, trying to make it seem like somebody said something to me. Because you know what's crazy? When she got on and started running her mouth, I'm like, but wait, who said something about you, sis? Ain't seen no live, ain't seen no none of that. Because no lie to you, a little earlier, I had looked at um, Strong Mommy Christie's video of, of her talking about the situation. Number one, even if she was throwing a little bit of shade, that was between her and Jasmine. Number two, um, if she did see, let me, you know, give a little guidance in this realm because I have been on YouTube for a very long time. So there are some things that I know not to do. There are some things that I know to do that others may not know nor want to teach the class or now. Miss Olivia, Olivia, okay, girl, Papa. The reason why you go through so much shit is because you want to keep everything to yourself. You're the type of bitch that will learn something and don't want to teach nobody else. Like you're not going to continue to get the views that you currently get. You're one of those bitches who like standing on other people's shoulders to get to where you need to be. Which is why you don't like helping anybody. You're a problem. You need help. Okay, you need to go sit down and talk to somebody, sis, because sweetness. Don't nobody got time for you to get up here every single day trying to come at every reactor like you really about that life when you're not, okay? You got to fight slow, okay? You got to fight slow, see? Hey. You working on that? Hey. And I guess when your mama had you, she must have been watching the adventures of Ren 1010. <laughs> You will get your ass beat, which is why you do a lot of talking. Oh, you really not like that? Ah, ah, ah. You do a lot of talking, honey. And your words have no real meaning, no weight, no anything because you're not busting grapes at a fruit fight. Okay? Slapping ass at a go go go, baby. You are not like that, ma'am. I don't know why you seem to think so, but you're not. I can see it in you. You got a lot of police calling, a lot of 911 ones in you, sis. <clears throat> you got a lot of, 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 of restraining order in you, okay? That's what you're giving. You're giving me very much restraining order, okay? We're not even gonna sit here and try to act like you're like that. So then, after talking about this woman's kids and who she don't have custody of and who she do, like you been in this woman's life as of late to know exactly what's going on. And if Jasmine 
opened her mouth, Penny, and told you any of those things for real, if I was Chrissy, I would be tip, tip, tipping at her motherfucking door. She would have to tell me what the fuck is going on, Henny, in a couple months. <laughs> I would wait until she dropped her load, okay? Heal up, get nice and strong, and I would have some questions. What's your problem, sis? Because I'm sure it's a lot of things about Jasmine that Chrissy know that she wouldn't want to get out. I'm sure of it. Because Jasmine has shit of the mouth. And I'm sure she went and ran and told Chrissy everything. So keep it cute. That's why on that motherfucking uh, live, she was damn near on mute. Sis, stop playing. Don't play. Don't you play with me, girl. What you could do, you could fight. Ciao, boo. Boo. We all know that what you've been running around here doing on these YouTube streets, you will put up to it either by live or by your funny shake this me. Hang. One of them, one of them done talk you in to doing what you're doing. Okay? And I don't like it. And I don't like it one little bit. You have a real problem. Okay, like the little trauma bond that y'all having right now, the little trauma situation that y'all putting yourselves into bonding because nobody like either one of y'all is a problem. Don't nobody like you, Olivia, because you have a way about you where you can see everyone else's flaws, but not your own. Where you can put everyone else on blast, but the moment someone says something about you and your shenanigans, you like to not admit to things. You like to act like, oh, well, I did that, but only because, no, you just don't like to take your shit and it's irritating It's fuck, okay? You have one of those... Me, 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 my, my, my type of attitudes, and no one likes that shit. Because at some point, it has to be about someone else. It has to be about someone else. You are so self absorbed that even when you are in a relationship, be it friendship or, 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 or romantically, you don't know how to give, bitch. You have this. Oh, no, it's about me. But the moment you hurt me, then I'm hurt. But when I hurt you, relax. It's not that serious. You're a man. Would you think men don't get hurt? You think men don't want attention? You think men don't deserve the same things that we want in return as women? That's what you're telling me. Because every man that's ever been in your premises, every man that's ever touched your JJ, which I'm sure is plenty, have been treated like trash, honey. Just because you come on here and tell us you love them. Just because you come on here and perpetrate the fraud and tell us that you care. The person you are behind the camera is the problem that the fuck they have in, sis. Huh? What you say? Don't talk about you. I do what I want to do. I do what I want to do. Okay, sis? Huh? Oh, you can't call me ugly. Oh. <laughs> My suck, huh? Because <laughs> that we did all over the internet and calling everybody ugly. Since everybody not ugly now. Your motherfucking spirit makes you ugly. You're not even ugly. You're just a fucking terrible ass person. And has anybody ever told you that your personality is a lot of what the fuck you look like? Because your energy is giving pressed. Your energy is giving no one loves me, so I'm going to block everyone out to make myself feel better. That's what your energy is giving. Jasmine, girl, come in. Let me holler at you. Come in. You sitting down? You good? The baby okay? Cool. Listen. Sis, huh? You need to learn to speak for yourself because you out here looking like a punk. Okay? Two. Um... Yeah, man, he not like that. He not really like that. You know what I'm saying? You can smell it on a nigga. You can see it on a nigga. You don't even got to ask <laughs> if a nigga really like that, baby. Because you can see it on them. Because, you know, your man not like that. Okay? When you argue with a bunch of females, like, bruh, you already passed that. 
you you a mess. You a hot heated ass mess. Okay, so let's talk about it. Um, I don't believe for, for one minute that Raw disrespected Chrissy in any manner in which they live tried to make it seem. She tried to make it seem like this man disrespected his woman. Like this man came at her. No, ma'am. Just because that's the way men speak to you don't mean that she has not found a man of a different caliber at this moment in her life. You're so pressed because you're stuck in your foolishness and with a man that you don't want, for real, or that don't want you, for real, something's going on there. That energy is off for me, okay? It's the energy for me, okay? Um, All I'm saying is, you have to really be in tune with your star player. Because at this moment in time, you out here looking crazy, okay? You're pregnant by another man who still hasn't put a ring on your finger. Got him living in your house. Who knows if he really has the job, sis, because we really don't know. You know what I'm saying? He could have a job. Could be just McDonald's or something like that. Like, people are hard up for employees. So, he may have a job. Let's give him the benefit of the day. Okay, either way, she's making more money, or so we think, you know, because of the whole MCN thing. <laughs> we don't know how much they're getting, all right, but we have to factor in the fact that you're already giving YouTube 45%, okay? Okay, you have three channels. Are they ahead of all three channels? These are the questions that need to be answered because if yes, now we know why you a beggar. Now I, now, now I know why you always begging. You begging. You always begging. That's why. Because you ain't got no money. Because the MCN take all your money, girl. How slow could you be? Like, you ain't read none of the fine print, huh? You just said, fuck it. I don't got to read this shit. I'm going to just sign my name right here and let them do all the work. That's all you seen that they was going to do all the fucking work. You are a ditzy the dang girl. You are something special. All right? You, you, you special. And you got your mama here, which makes it even worse. So she just letting you just be out here being a mess. I guess she was like, she grown. <laughs> She grown, what you want me to do? I don't blame you, bro. I don't blame you. I would have thrown the towel a long time ago, too, sis. I don't blame you, girl. I just stopped sitting up. You know what? I think Mama Duke just really sent her money so she won't have to come back and live with her. Mm-hmm. Pay that back rent, all that stuff. Help her with all that so she don't got to live with her. I don't blame you, girl. I, I ain't gonna stop helping her because if I do, then she's gonna be back in my house with five kids and a man. Don't I got something like I feel you, sis. <laughs> Baby, but when I say you, Olivia, yes, man, don't be talking about that girl. And Olivia, the whole AIDS thing that you said about Christy, yeah, I will be on your way, sis. Well, ma'am, huh? You will get these hands in real life. Fuck you talking about. These other hoes, probably not, you know what I'm saying? You're insinuating, but because you actually were in my presence and speaking to someone that I called my friend, this is immediate, okay? Because of, of how immediate it is, that's how immediate your ass whooping would be, okay? Immediately, okay? Without fail, tonight. If you would have ever uttered those words and I fucking knew you and you were in my presence and you tried my pussy like that, bitch, I would be snatching your soul. Baby, tell me what you think about this damn thing. No comments, but I got to go. Okay, please like, comment, and subscribe. And while you are at it, drop those purple hearts down in the comments. Oh, and my little me has been doing excellent in school. If you don't know, um, little Miss Simmy uh, did her first year in virtual school. And mommy got her to graduate. Woohoo! My baby graduated, and now she's in the first grade. And mama decided to send her back to school 
be it, I have everything in the world antibacterial and I spray hug like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm all extra and I'm popping up at the school and I'm doing the most because I have anxiety. Granted, but she's in school and I am trying to make it as wonderful and experienced through all this as possible. I told her everything she needs to know about staying clean, keeping people out of her space, covering her mouth, making sure that she's clean in her area. So wish me luck, you guys, because I be wanting to cry every day when she leave the house. So, <laughs> just drop a little congrats to me down in the comments if you care. And don't forget, okay, keep coming big. Because I love your feedback, Kenny. I read almost every comment. And I try to comment back to everyone. So, let's talk, Kenny. Later for now. Bye. Wrote that shit. Know that's it. Nah. More fire, hot like Naya. Whole lot of juice from the plug and the wire. Hold 